Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 plus x minus 1 equals 0. Now how do we solve this problem? Simple. I want us to factorize it in 2. So that if you factorize this, you're going to have x squared as a common factor. And this will be equal to here. And this will be, you know, factoring this. x to the power of 3 becomes x. Right? And then x squared into x squared, we're going to have 1. So we'll get negative 1. And then... Here, there is nothing common to them, right? So, we pick the coefficient of x. And then, in here, I have x minus 1. This will be equal to 0. And now, from here, we are going to factorize. So that when we do that, we have x minus 1 as a common factor. And then, in the other bracket, I have x squared plus 1 and then equal to zero and this is the point where we use zero product rule and that says it is either x minus one is equal to zero or x squared plus one is equal to zero now from here x will be equal to zero plus one or on this side, x squared will be equal to negative 1, right? And then from here, x is equal to um, 1. Or on this side, x will be equal to positive or negative, square root of negative 1. But then, square root of negative 1 is not giving us a real solution. But I want us to consider the three solution now x is equal to one or from here x is equal to positive or negative square root of one times square root of negative one okay because square root of one times square root of negative one will give negative one right okay now if you take a step further x will be equal to one or x will be equal to positive or negative square root of 1 is 1 and then square root of i square root of negative 1 is i now let's continue so that from here x will be equal to 1 or x is equal to positive or negative 1 times i will give us i Okay, now let's bring the three solutions together now. From here, x1 is equal to 1. Then, x2 is equal to i. That is positive i from here. And then, x3 is equal to negative i. So, these are the three solutions that will satisfy the equation. Thank you for watching.